Hey y'all, welcome back to Lovely Lavender Wishes. It's Renee. Hope you're having a very blessed day today. And today we're going to continue on playing with some of the materials that I got from BB Crafts. So y'all know um, I did a um, unboxing of BB Crafts. They sent me a variety of things like corner protectors and chains and these big uh, safety pins. Um, I have a variety of sizes here uh, from small to large. Um, these filigree pieces. Oh, so many things to play with. And then yesterday I played with the wooden buttons that I got from BB Crafts. So I'm going to put all the information down below. So be sure to check out their um, store y'all. It's BB Craft, B E E B E E craft.com. And I'll put that again down below for y'all. But they have, if you're into jewelry making or scrapbooking or junk journaling or even Bible journaling, they have a lot of different things there for you to check out. So before we get into our project for today, I really wanted to show you what I use this chain for. Um, I use, y'all know, I use chain on pretty much everything. Today we will use a little bit of the chain and we're going to use the pins and maybe some of these filigrees. I don't know. And the butterflies, I think. We're going to be using a few things today. But um, I want to show you what you can be using the chain for as well as these filigree pieces. Um, so as y'all probably, if you're following me, you've seen that I did these journals. This is my gothic journal. Um, I put these pieces either on the back of my journals for like book plates, if you can see, or on the front for decoration. And then of course y'all, you know I use chain in everything. I used it in my steampunk journal. I used it in my corset journal. I use it on tags. I use it on my covers a lot. I also use it um, when I attach uh, different, let's see, like something like this, for instance. So this filigree piece could be used to attach, like you would punch a hole through your fabric or your paper tab or whatever tab you have, um, put an eyelet there. And a lot of times I would use chain and have little pieces hanging down. Um, this you can just attach with a um, eyelet and a jump ring and have these um, hanging down. Another thing you can use these pieces for, since they're flat, uh, most of them, mostly pretty flat, as well as very, um, very lightweight, you can actually use them to decorate your pages. But if you can see here, right here I used um, a metal bat. But instead of using this bat, if I had these, I would have you know, you can glue that down instead. So these are really cool to use as just like different ephemera pieces or little little um, embellishment pieces for your journal pages or to decorate envelopes or what have you. I mean, gosh, this thing could go anywhere. It could go anywhere. It could go on uh, fabric clusters like this. But with the ones with the little holes here, you could use as dangles. You could use the chain and you can have it hanging down here. Oh my gosh, that would be cool. Okay, I'm getting ideas for future journals already, y'all. So yeah, you could have chains hanging with a lot of these little um, pieces hanging. You can have like three of them. I mean, there's so many things you can do with these. Um, so lots of ideas there. So y'all know I use chains for that. I also use chains for my little... Um, ephemera cluster pieces as well. So there's an example. There's an example. Uh, you know, y'all, I will, if I could put chains on something, I'm going to put chains on it. So, you know, everyone's always like, what do you use the chains for? Oh my gosh. I put chains on everything. <laughs> so my little clusters. And then again, these you can glue to pages um, in, you know, your journals for decoration um, glue onto envelopes, what have you. Now these are uh, altered CD holders, CD cards, uh, CD yeah, holders. Again, I didn't put any on here, but you could put chain across the bottom. You can have chain hanging like, move all this. You could have chain hanging like this with um, little beads hanging down or ephemera pieces or little metal charms. You could double up the chain and have like a couple different chains hanging down. I did that in my corset journal 
and I think in my steampunk journal where I had you had a couple different chains like this you can have it looped a few times have the chain going oh my gosh I love using chain it just it adds so much so let me move that another thing I use chain for let me grab my bible um let's see if I can find it I did a corset page in my bible so I do put chain even in my bible let me this so here's my corset and here's chain that I have hanging out of my corset piece in my Bible. So you can even have chain hanging down the side or you could use chain um, for bookmarks and tags and a whole variety of things. So just to get your creative juices flowing and thinking of things. So not only so these filigree pieces can be used for all that um, as well as okay so Move those to the side. Now you have these corner pieces as well. I'm not going to be doing anything with the corner pieces today, but I do want to show you this journal. I have little baby corner pieces, but if I would have had these when I made this journal, look at how pretty that would have looked. So these corner protectors or corner pieces, um, they're very light. So you can actually, you could use them on your covers. You could use them on your pages on the inside to decorate pages up. Look at, oh, look how pretty that would be, y'all. Okay, yeah, I will definitely be using these in my next journal because my next journal is gonna be a surprise. I've been thinking about this for a while, so I'm gonna keep that as a surprise. These are gonna go perfect in that journal. So you'll see these a lot in my junk journal. So again, BB Craft, and for these, you get 100, I think it's 105 of these um, in this particular, whoops, in this particular, package I got because I got all three colors because I like to do a variety sometimes some of my journals have silver in them sometimes they have gold sometimes they're more antique so I got a variety you could get just single colors if you'd like but this I this one I got a variety so yeah lots of choices great things to do okay so today we are going to be working with these huge well some are big some are little I have some little ones but these, I'm going to work with this big one, these big pins. Oh my gosh, I love these. I'm so excited to work with these. So I've been kind of fiddling around already, y'all know. So let me show you what I have done. Okay, so this kind of will give you an example. So here's the pin right here. So when you're working on these, if you're going to do something across the whole bottom, you want to make sure that you work on this side and make sure you don't do this side because then this side will be the side that would, like for example, if this is going to be the cover. I just put it on this paper, this uh, material just so you can see the contrast, see what I actually did here. Um, so if this is going to be on, let's say, you know, the cover of one of your journals or something. Or you're gonna wear it on your clothes. I mean, you can wear these, you know, I'm gonna use them for my journals, but a lot of people make these where you can actually make really cool brooches or brooches or pins, you know, to wear. But here's, for example, how it would lay. So you wanna make sure that this part is free so you can put it through the material, whatever you're gonna use it on. This is also cool for a fabric tab uh, fabric flip in a journal. So like, let's say this is your page and your fabric's going to flip up. This is a cool little top part to have, you know, it holds the fabric down as well. So you can kind of, you know, maybe without this, cause this will make it really bulky. But if you don't mind the bulk, this would, this is, I'm thinking would probably be like maybe an ephemera piece on a cover of a journal, but you know, do whatever. I'm sure all of you have different ideas. So on this one, as you can see, I used some lace which I sewed across the top to hold it on. And then I used the chain that I got, this chain, and I just clipped it from here to here. And then I had this little key. And then again, I used a jump ring and had this little cluster of beads that I thought were really cute. Doesn't really go with this back, but <laughs> it wouldn't go on this fabric, y'all. I'm just putting the fabric here so you can see the contrast here and then I had this this is an old um, earring and so I took the top off and glued it to this part of the pin 
just the top part so it doesn't affect this part that's coming in and out in the back. As you can see. So really easy, but really fun and effective, and you get a cool different look. So that's one thing you can do with these. Um, I was fooling around with this. I don't have, this was the thickest wire I have. I have some really thin wire, so it doesn't really match this. But if I'm, I'm going to try to go get some antique wire that's kind of like, like this thickness. If you're really good with wire work, which I'm not, y'all, but I was just kind of fooling around with this. You could probably do some really cool wire work on these and make some really cool decorations. And then I was thinking if you had little, little beads that you can kind of maybe um, put along the wire on there to give it some, some interest, or you could even hang things down from some of this. And again, you know, you can put this in or, or put it in, in your book either way. I mean, there's so many different things you can do, but I was thinking some really cool wire work would look really neat on these as well. So I was playing around with that. Let's see what else. So here's one. Here's the wire work. And then I was playing around with this. I did like a little steampunk one. So here is the medium one. Um, I had these little loop things. Um, so I like I had my husband solder these. Now I had this one I had a while back. I have these. So if you get these, you could um, either do some wire work down here or solder some little loops to the bottom of this. So then you can just attach. So this one has one, two, three, four, five loops. You can attach as many loops as you want here and then have things hanging down just like this. So you can get really creative and do this. So this was a steampunk theme with the wire again with the chain different different um yeah this one wasn't this chain but it was a, just a different chain so yeah you can use different chain lengths and things for that and then this one I was fooling around with as well so you can of course use these for beads so if you have bead different kind of beads that'll fit on each of these you can bead them up then this one was kind of a girly one, y'all. Um, I had this piece, so I'm like, oh, this would be cool. And then I had, I was just kind of playing with this, so I was fooling around with a couple things. Um, this is some hand-dyed um, seam binding, the hug seam binding, that I was thinking, oh, that would be really, really cute. It's like girly, you know? And then cut it right here. Um, or you can put it, like, and glue it right here so you can either have it so it shifts around or you can glue it if you want it in a certain spot you can you know hot glue gun it or glue it so the bow stays in a certain spot um, so you have that or I was also thinking if I got rid of this let me just pull this off like I said I was just kind of fooling around with this I'm still trying to decide what I want to do and it's going to depend on which uh, journal I'm going to use this for but yeah, this is just some hand-dyed seam binding that I had. I love dyeing my own seam binding. And then where I have this, let's see, which way would this go? Okay. I have this, you know, you can do like a black bow if you want it a little bit more classy and stick with the color here. Instead of more girly, you can make it more classy. So you can put this bow through this and tie it up here and then glue it and so you'd have this as well so I'm kind of like kicking around ideas make it either a smaller bow or a bigger bow you can bow you can fiddle with it and see what you like that might look cute right there or even at the, at the main part and then this part would open up now if you're gonna do beads you're gonna have to leave yourself a little bit of space so you can hook it into whatever material you're gonna hook it in to but, oh, that's so cute, too. So cute. So there's so many things you can do with these as well. Oh, too many ideas, y'all. My brain is always just like, oh. Okay, so we're going to work on one today. So I was thinking I wanted to kind of use the um, butterflies as well, the little fabric piece that we made the other day. And I was like, oh, wow, this will go perfectly. So all I did was cut a piece of... It's not burlap, but it's just like a, 
I don't know, just a uh, kind of a rough textured, um, you know, cream kind of, I don't know, material, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so make sure if you're going to do one of these where you're going to use up almost the whole thing, you want to make sure you do it on the opposite side of where your clip's going to be. So this can go into the fabric and lay. Okay, and then so you're going to get whatever size fabric if you want a really long one or a short one. And again, I pulled out a lot of the, I'm going to pull some more of these out because I want the bottom part to be like really frayed. Oh, so cute. Love that. Love that little frayed look. Okay, and then you just kind of wrap it around your, your pin. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a little bit of glue on this just to hold it. So if you, if you don't want to sew it, you don't have to. You can just glue it. Let me get this glue going. Come on. Should have had it going at the beginning. So I'm just going to put like a little thin line of glue here. Let me lay that down so it stays there. And then you just kind of wrap your material around just like that. It's kind of the same thing you do with paper clips with paper. You know, if any of you have made those um, paper clip things for your journals with paper tabs on them, it's the same, same concept except with material. Oh, so that's cute. That's cute by itself. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my sewing machine really quick. It's off camera, just you know, fast forward real quick. And I'm gonna do a zigzag stitch just to kind of make sure it holds. Well, maybe not. Maybe I don't want that stitching to look because this is gonna go right here. Yeah, maybe I don't even need it because it's not even gonna show anyways. So I'll just keep the glue there. So there, you don't even have to see me go off camera. Okay, and then I'm gonna take the glue and just in the middle here. So. This was already made. So if you don't have it already made, all this was, if you could watch my previous video when I show you how I use the butterflies from BB Crafts, but all it is is two pieces of fabric, the butterflies with um, tied on with um, some, let's see which way would we like these? We'll go like that. Um, the butterflies tied on with some thread, like a bow. So I sewed the butterflies and tied the little bows on, which I'm going to kind of fluff up, fluff up a little bit here. And I like having all these little threads like hanging out. It kind of just gives it like a more of that rustic feel. Oh, cute. Look at that already. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, love it. Love it. Okay. I have this butterfly and I was debating if I wanted to use it I think I am just going to, okay, we'll wait to the end <laughs> because I got to do this part first, I think. So I'm going to use this chain and I was thinking, like I was kind of debating if I was going to have this butterfly with like maybe two or three or four pieces of chain kind of hanging down, kind of like the butter, you know, how the butterfly flits and flows and then you have this interest with this hanging as well. So let me see what that looks like. And I was just going to, um, this chain is pretty easy to take apart. Take, you know, that's another reason why I love using this chain, y'all. Um, th there's just so much you can use, you do with this. So you just like that, you just open up one of the, the loops and close it back up. Super easy. And I want like different lengths. Let's do like a, just a short one. And then let's do like another long one. Not too long, just a little bit longer. Okay. But this, you get 10 meters in this chain, which actually lasts a while. But with the amount of chain that I use all the time, um, I do end up using quite a bit. So I'm just gonna get a jump ring. I'm gonna have to get another box of these too, but these have lasted me quite a bit, quite a long time too. Okay, so you open up the jump ring and you twist, 
twist the jumper ring. Don't pull it apart, twist it open. Um, that helps keep it, um, I gotta close this one. That helps uh, keep the integrity of the ring or the metal versus like if you pull it apart, it make make it weaker. I'm just gonna try to close this one. If it's not gonna come out. And I'm just gonna loop all these in, <laughs> if I can. But yeah, you can, these pins, um, man, you can decorate them any way you want. If you're, like I said, if you're good with wire work, I think you can do some really cool wire work with it. Um, I'm not that great. Oh, look at that, that's kind of cute. Oh, cute. Better than I thought it would be. So I'm gonna kind of maybe go get some thicker wire and kind of play with that a little. I'll have to watch some YouTube videos on that. Okay, so I'm just twisting this back together, making sure it's all sealed. Oh, that's cute, look at that, so far. This is kind of like the little, I don't know, the little wisps with the butterflies going. I like that. Cute, cute. And then I was thinking of kind of having this butterfly kind of like flying off and there's his little, oh yeah, that'll look cute. Okay, so what I have are these um, glue dots. These, are, of course, are not permanent. Um, this is, I, I'm gonna have to wait I have a glue gun somewhere <laughs> and um, I need to find it and the glue gun would work better or you need some like really heavy duty glue to make sure that this stays glued. But actually these kind of, these work really well to kind of, uh, yeah, see they work pretty well to stick things. So I'm gonna stick this for now so you all can see it and I'm gonna try to find my glue gun and then I'll get this on here permanently. But um, I'm trying to figure out where. Oh, it's all the way over here. Okay. That's why it's not sticking. I'm just going to put these right here so then I know that it'll stick to. The butterfly. Wherever the butterfly sticks. How much easier. That works better. Okay, yeah, once I get my glue gun in, I want the butterfly kind of like going off, going off that way. Oh my gosh, so cute, y'all. And it's as easy as that, look at that. And then we're done. Wow, that was really quick. If I didn't have this made beforehand, that would have taken a little bit longer, but oh, I love that. And then this part attaches to whatever you want it to attach to. So cute. Well, here we go. So there is our finished piece. So we're using the chains, the butterflies, the pins. The only thing I didn't use are these. But you know, I'm wondering, we could do you could do some really cool stuff with some of these too. Where's the bag? They had these butterflies as well. Oh that butterfly would have even been cute so many things y'all <gasps> look at that one that would have been cute too so this one's a little thicker these are thinner and lighter so actually these might let me see the thing with glue dots is it's not permanent yet and i can just fiddle around and play Ooh, that is really cute too <gasps> Okay, I think I'm gonna stick that one. Cause that one's flatter and that will be easier to glue. Look at that. Uh, cute. Okay, well, there we go. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, so I keep coming up with new ideas, new things to play with. Um, but y'all, thanks for joining me. So here, let's see. So here are all the different things that I've come up with just in the last day with these pins. And this was just an, this was just one example of beads you can do. I mean, you can do so many examples with beads. So we've got, let's see, this would be, it would be hanging like this. So we've got this one with the bow. 
didn't put the bow on yet. Gotta decide. I think I'll have like that bow. And then some wire work. I wouldn't keep this wire, but this was just an example. Do some really cool wire work on these and maybe even add some beads or even add some chains hanging down from this or do, oh, now I'm thinking. <laughs> Hang on a second. You could do like one layer of chain, kind of like what I did on the um, CD holders. We could do one layer of chain that way and then like cut another piece, have another chain coming down, cut another piece, and we can have like a triple chain coming down. That makes sense. Oh y'all, I'm messing it up. One, two, three, like a triple chain like that hanging off the pin with maybe a different bead or a few beads hanging along the bottom and maybe like one here, one here. So you have like this double, like this triple necklace hanging down. <gasps> okay, I'm gonna have to work on that. <laughs> Definitely gonna have to work on that. So, okay, so you have that one or even like a bigger, like a medium, a medium pin. triple chain hanging down with some beads. Yeah, I'll have to dig. So here's another thing you can do with these chains is do some jump rings. If I don't, can you all picture that? So you would cut the chains in three different sizes, attach them with jump rings. Just You would just need one jump ring and they would all attach to the same jump ring on each side. And so you'd have this and then maybe have like a few beads hanging down here maybe one here and one here, or just one here, keep that as a chain and a few beads hanging down here. I'm gonna have to kind of play with that. That would look really pretty as well. Wow. Okay, well, there you go. Lots of things you can do with these pins. Again, my brain is just <laughs> Hope you enjoyed, hope this gave you some ideas. Um, okay, let me put this up. Hopefully you can, are y'all seeing that in the screen? Here's the three, the three, uh, layers of beads so i was thinking like maybe one here keep this as a chain and a few beads hanging from here something like that so these would all hang from a jump ring but anyways um hope this gives you some ideas but yeah you can get these pins these pins come in a pack of 20. the, the one i got these were the antique bronze color antique bronze yeah antique bronze and they come in five sizes, four of each. So you get this large one, you get medium ones, um, a little bit smaller, and then these small ones. And they're not really that small. I mean, there's a lot you can do with these. Are those with all the sizes? Maybe you get five of each, because there's 20 in these. One, two, three, four. Yeah, those are the same size, okay. So, variety of sizes. Some you can get um, all one size if you like, or a variety of sizes. And I think they come in different colors too. You can get silver, you can get gold, or you can get the antique. I got the antique because that's pretty much what I work with a lot for all my antique, you know, junk journaling. So, but anyways, I hope you enjoyed. Hope this gave you some ideas. Be sure to check out BB Craft, and I'll put all the information down below. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks, y'all. Bye bye.